Hey there, everybody. Today we're gonna make a water filter. Stay tuned. Making a water filter is important to be able to improve the clarity and sometimes the taste of your water. A lot of times if you have to find water out in nature, it'll be cloudy or it'll taste funny. It might be clean after you boil it, but you still want it to be an enjoyable experience. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get ourselves a regular two liter bottle and we're gonna cut off the bottom. I've already pre-cut mine. We want it to look like this. Save the bottom, because you can always reattach it later to keep things from falling into your filter. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look around near our water source and find somewhere where we can find some moss growing. Moss is important to add to your filter because it adds iodine to the water, naturally occurring iodine, and that helps keep it safe to drink. We're gonna put this in first in the bottom of the filter. The greener your moss is, the more alive it is and the better it's gonna do for your water. For example, this moss here is kind of dark green and yellowing in some spots. This other piece that I found by contrast is bright green and alive. We wanna use this kind. So now with the moss in the bottom of the bottle, it should look like this. This is gonna provide the same kind of action that a coffee filter provides. It's gonna catch any of the last little bit of particulate and add some iodine and make your water safer to drink. The next layer we're gonna put in is a little bit of charcoal. This charcoal I've gathered from a previous fire and I've brought it out today with me in a Ziploc bag. I've got two of them actually. This one is smaller chunks and very fine dust that I ground up in a mortar and pestle. This is the layer we wanna put in on top of the moss. Now in our filter, we have one layer of moss and one layer of finer charcoal. The next layer we're gonna add above is sand. Now that we have our third layer of sand, that's gonna help us keep out some large particles. The water is gonna seep through just fine, no problem, but bigger things like sticks or leaves that may have been floating in your water source are gonna be filtered out by this sand. Next, we're gonna put in another layer of charcoal, but this time it's gonna be more coarse to help serve the same effect, to make sure to charcoal the water and make sure to help filter out other floating particles. As you can tell, these pieces of charcoal are much bigger. We want them to be able to soak in the water for a few minutes as they percolate through. And then we're gonna add our last bit, our last layer, which is gonna be one more layer of sand. That'll be the first thing that the water passes through. And the sand holds a second function on the top layer is to keep everything else in the filter. Once you get to this point, you need to build yourself a tripod or something that's gonna be able to hang onto your bottle for you. So that when you set your filter in there, you've got a space underneath for your cup to go and catch all the water that's gonna come out. Now the first couple of times you pour water through, it's gonna come out dirty because all your natural materials are still dirty. Just keep pouring the same water through over and over and over again and pretty soon it'll come out clear as your filter starts to do its job. Let's test it out and see how it works. Pretty yellow, lots of floaties. Pour your water in the top, let it slowly filter through the bottom. A little bit at a time. It's gonna take a while. This is uh, nature's percolator. So there it goes. Put your cup under, let it fill, see what you get. So I'm finding out that the yield for this filter is not great. I put a full cup in and I only got about a quarter of a cup back out because I didn't count on the fact that the material in the filter would absorb a lot of the water and hold it. So as you can see, it's still pretty yellow and murky. We're gonna dump this and uh, rinse the filter one, more, one or two more times and see if we can get better results. This is the second pour through. I can already tell the water is much clearer on this run through. I can't wait to see what the third one looks like. All right, I don't know if this is gonna show up on camera, but that's the water I got going in. It's not bad, but it does have a little bit of a yellow tint to it. This is the water I'm catching coming out. Crystal clear, beautiful. I'd say it's drinkable now. All right, we are just about done with this third pour. 
and the water's looking really good. Uh, very drinkable. In fact, I'm gonna give it a try. Tastes like home, just like out of the well. Probably a lot better than if it had a bunch of silt in it or mud or anything else. The good part is it's nice and cold. I hate drinking boiled hot water. Somehow it just doesn't seem to be as nice. All right, so that's the water filter. Had good luck with it today. Remember the bottle is not the important part, it's the layers. Uh, if you don't happen to have a bottle, you can use a lot of different things. You can use a, a clean sock, you can use a bandana, you can use a shemag. You can use anything that'll help the water move through all the layers. That's what's important here. I used the bottle because uh, I could pack all my stuff in it while I was bringing it out here. So if you're stuck in the woods and you need to filter your water to make it clear and taste better, you can always do that. Just remember to boil it first. Um, this filter will not kill Giardia. This ki filter will not kill Cryptus Rudium. You can still get beaver fever just by running it through here. This isn't going to do everything for you. It's just uh, make it a little more appetizing. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure to give me a like and a subscribe and share me with the other people you care about so they know what I'm doing too. We'll see you for the next one. Thanks.